we got to talk about this North Korea thing. I'm outraged. I just took the time to Google directions to this place so I could watch the diplomatic throwdown between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump. Actual photo. <laughs> but now, North Korea is going back on their word. Is the nuclear summit on the verge of collapse? After months of cooperation, North Korea threatening to cancel its meeting with President Trump. North Korea objecting to annual joint military exercises underway between the U.S. and South Korea. The White House was caught off guard by North Korea's sudden about face. What? What kind of maniac suddenly walks away from a nuclear deal for no specific reason just because they can? This chubby, egomaniacal tyrant cannot be trusted. And everybody in America knows who I'm talking about right now. <laughs> With his dumb hair and his bad English. Uh. <laughs> it's disgusting. Kim might walk away from these talks after all the work our president put into them. God, when I think of the minutes, maybe an hour even, that Trump spent planning. <laughs> Planning the tweets, the long, breathy calls with Hannity about what they're wearing to work tomorrow. <laughs> Why would Kim do this to him? If only there was someone to point the finger at. The North Koreans are pointing the finger directly at the new national security advisor, John Bolton, who suggested over the weekend that the Libya model, as he put it, could be the way forward on denuclearization. The North Koreans now saying that they have a, quote, repugnance, as they put it, toward Bolton. What? First off, unless repugnance is a mistranslation of mustache awe, that's just rude. <laughs> Second, all Bolton suggested was that Libya was a good role model for North Korea. It's an easy path to follow. Libya gave up its nuclear program and pretty soon their country was in ruins and their leader was captured and killed by his own people. What's not to like, Kim? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is that, is that what happens to a long head when it ages? Is that... <laughs> it's fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm worried about Trump. What's this going to do to his upcoming campaign? <clears throat> to win the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> this prize has been Trump's lifelong dream, right behind threesome in space. <laughs> Focus up, Nobel Committee. Trump's almost achieved peace on the Korean Peninsula, and almost always counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, as well as the game I invented, Horse Grenades. <laughs> the only game sponsored by my local glue factory. <laughs> just, just give Trump his Nobel now. So what if he put the cart before the horse? Horses love it when the cart is first. <laughs> it gives them the chance to push for a change. And if they don't wanna, Hit him with a horse grenade. <laughs> it's how they learn. And I know Trump's already set aside a spot in his trophy case, right next to his homemade apprentice Emmy and the macaroni art that Don Jr. and Eric made him this morning. 